Hey, Zane Griggs here. So did you know that 80 to 90% of your body serotonin levels are actually produced in your gut and not in your brain? Your gut produces far more than your brain does. And so for some reason, uh, medicine has decided to, you know, the, 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 the wisdom of medicine is to, is to give us drugs that affect how our brain deals with serotonin or, or you know, how, how it uh, reuptakes it, right? The reuptake of serotonin rather than just improve our production of it in our gut. And so, so it's, it's actually, there's some very progressive uh, medical professionals out there, so I'm not, I'm not docking the whole uh, profession. Some are very progressively treating depression and other neurotransmitter imbalances uh, with a change in diet and having far more effectiveness than just with, uh, you know, drugs, basically, the, the neurotransmitter, you know, the reuptake inhibitors. So, and I'm talking about all neurotransmitters, not just serotonin, GABA, norepinephrine, epinephrine, uh, dopamine, all affected by and created by our gut. Actually, tryptophan, a very common amino acid that we all eat, it's not just in turkey, it's in all the, lots of, lots of uh, animal proteins that we, we eat, have tryptophan. And tryptophan is a precursor to serotonin, which works with healthy gut bacteria, okay? to create serotonin, but if you have degraded tryptophan or you don't have the healthy bacteria, then you're not gonna create that much of it, okay? So you're not gonna have enough that you need to kind of keep things kind of, kind of happy, kind of, kind of light. And the same goes with the, with the dopamine. Um, B-complex vitamins are also very important for, uh, for the production of neurotransmitters, and all of these things are affected by high sugar levels, high blood sugar. So high blood sugar is going to, one, negatively affect uh, the kind of, you know, just having a sugary diet and gluten, high gluten diet. So sugar and gluten are the two big factors that raise blood sugar levels. Uh, so high blood sugar has a negative effect on neurotransmitter production, okay, as well as, what else, weight gain, right? So how, it's funny how these things work together for total health. It's not just about weight and looking good in your genes. It's your, it's your total health. It's your total outlook on life. It's your, it's your mood. Um, all affected by what we put in our mouth. So again, the B-complex vitamins are usually used up by high blood sugar because we're using them in metabolism to try to burn off and, and, and deal with all this excess blood sugar. Uh, not good. So what do we need to do? Well, as I mentioned before, reduce sugar as much as possible. Reduce gluten. I know some of you are saying, well, I don't have a problem with gluten. I'm not celiac. I don't have irritable bowel syndrome. Okay, so gluten is a lot, about a lot more than just your gut or about an irritable bowel or, or uh, inflamed uh, gut. It's, it's, although it does cause those in everyone, the symptoms show up differently. Again, with neurotransmitter production, uh, weight gain, although you can't have trouble losing weight, you haven't gotten rid of sugar or gluten yet, basically any wheat product, and several other grains, or grains processed with wheat products, like oats, okay, typical oats, uh, oatmeal, produced around wheat, is gonna have gluten in it. So, um, You've got to reduce these things. There's no reason to be eating cereals, pastas, breads, if you're trying to lose weight or improve your mood or improve your health. And same with eating sugary foods. There's just no, there's no reason for it, okay? Uh, you don't need it. <laughs> and if, if it gives you nothing. It's only hurting your, your system. So reduce sugar, reduce gluten, eat a lot more veggies, uh, the prebiotics that are great for um, your gut bacteria. All, all vegetable fiber is great, but asparagus, leeks, onions, garlic, all good stuff, right? And of course, take a probiotic daily on an empty stomach, you know, half hour before you eat, and certainly don't take it with coffee. But uh, so probiotics, prebiotics, and lots of veggie fiber, reducing sugar and gluten. And it's not a quick fix. This is not like taking a pill and suddenly, woo, hey, I'm happy. Um, it's a process to change your overall body the way it works, okay? And the, and the, the population of those healthy bacteria in your gut. But remember, they outnumber us 10 to one. So we gotta keep them happy for us to be healthy. If you know someone would benefit from this, please uh, tag them in the comments below and I'll talk to you later.